Hello and welcome back to my island for Island Sanctuary over here in patch 6.2 with me, Mioni. Today we're going to be looking at the Otter Fountain, Otter Water Fountain specifically. And uh, we're going to be going through how to actually craft this stuff as well, which we'll get to in just a moment. But first of all, I want to tell you how you unlock the actual recipe for this. That's the main ingredient of this and actually setting it up. So first of all, you need to have completed your island's production of every single spot including that of your lighthouse your lighthouse must have been completed and you must have also done the side quest from a curious courier over here in the main area just outside your cozy place uh, and you will know that you've done all this because the reward is actually this glamour set as you saw probably in my previous video if you're at this point you will be able to go over to the horrendous hoarder and a new option is unlocked on this guy. You will see exchange items for permits. This is presumably something that's going to be a future uh, thing added to as well with lots of other designs and things for your island. These permits will allow you to craft things. The first of which is one of the hardest crafts probably in the game currently. Uh, with the recipes which we'll go to in a minute I, I promise we will but as you can see you need two of each of these items two water otter fountain lumber two water otter fountain hardware and two water otter fountain resin you can of course alternatively go and buy these from a market board but of course people will be trying to make a decent amount of gill from these especially considering it's only just now and you know the last couple of days where people have been able to figure out what they're for and they're in, in for a nice surprise. So the water otter fountain, uh, fountain permit, if I could speak, is written permission for the construction of a sanctuary landmark used to unlock the water otter fountain. So this will actually be um, a thing you can right click on. Let's exchange for this. We might as well. And we exchange two of every of these items. So bear that in mind. Try to remember that. And then we get the permit. So it's likely they add more stuff to this in the future. As I've said, it kind of looks like a, uh, a wedding certificate type thing. You simply right click or interact with your controller, learn that, and then you've got yourself that learnt. Alrighty then, so you want to know about the recipe. Essentially, what you will find is new expert recipes. I mean, you'll know that they exist if you already have them, uh, you know, leveled up. You'll have these things. So now you know what they're for, for this new landmark. Uh, the actual recipes in, in you know individually are quite difficult. I would say you're going to need a full pentamelded set of the new gear. Uh, my friend Parabella tried his hardest and had a lot of fails with this. So thankfully the materials aren't too bad, but they can be a little bit costly. Uh, some of them obviously you need to go and gather where they're from. Um, we do have for the first one the water otter fountain hardware. As you can see, five of both of those types of crystal. And then we've got one igneous glio ether, which is from ethereal reduction, if I remember correctly. We've got two bismuth ore and one uh, thrigian gold ore. Then for the water otter fountain lumber, we have one verdurous glio ether. I can't speak, apparently. One red pine log, one snowflax, and one cygar hide. And then for the water otter fountain resin, we have one aqueous glio ether, one uh, dianamite ash, and one sideritis leaves. So I've probably butchered all of those names, but that's what you're going to need for this. Now, the recipes are very hard. You're best off trying to trial and error this, but they are expert recipes. And if you remember from the Ishgard restoration, the expert recipes were very difficult back then. Um, obviously there are ways around that and I'm sure if you look around people will have come up with all manner of different things I don't believe you're going to be able to macro these uh, at all um, you prove me wrong honestly but uh, if there are any budding crafters that want to leave uh, tips on how to remotely access this and then it's just a simple fact of deciding where you're going to place it. So I actually want to keep my windmill. So one of the things I want to replace is actually a uh, windmill, my lighthouse. One of the things I do want to replace is my windmill. I think this is probably the best place for it. I do like the windmill. I can always swap back to it later. So we're going to change this one out. And it's simply a, a factor of coming up to the landmark you want to replace. Because obviously there are only four landmarks in total. We could replace the tree fort. The lighthouse, the bathhouse, or the windmill. We're going to replace the windmill. 
and we're going to replace that with the water otter fountain now to actually do this we need one of the quarry uh, fetches so the quarry missions uh, at a granary I should say not quarry why did quarry come to med the granary missions where you send people out and they come back the following day at 9 a.m we need island elysium or alisum uh, this is actually a rare item the only way to get it is through these if you've upgraded your granaries you'll probably end up getting four back if you've got all of those upgraded like i will probably get but you need three in total so we're going to be able to continue this tomorrow we are not going to have to wait we're not going to sit around for hours and hours and hours i'm just going to skip forward to when we have the alyssum and we set this in motion let's see so we've got four of our alyssums each which is more than we remotely needed but we can sell the excess can't we so that's awesome so let's collect those and we'll set these out in a moment afterwards after we figure out what we would like so we actually have the materials now so the idea is that we can go and set this up now do i want to get rid of the windmill let's 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 uh let's get rid of the windmill and if we don't like what we turn this into then we can turn it back all right so we go simply up to a landmark if you've never done this before click the reconstruct button and as you can see now we have our alyssum so that takes 10 isle wart uh 10 isle clay isle limestone 15 island uh leo granite uh granite right from uh, from the mountains 15 of those and three alyssum so we've got more than enough alyssum that's fine so let's swap to that and uh in theory at a great cost of time right it should build the new property at least i think so oh no it just built it straight away that's actually quite surprising i thought that would take a lot longer huh it yeah okay i didn't realize it was instant like that that's crazy all right well there we go we've just replaced a windmill <laughs> with the fountain and what can i say about this all right well it's kind of gorgeous actually look at this so this is our front on view let's have a nice little walk around so what have we got here we've got obviously an odder otter in the middle made of stone we've got water flowing everywhere the rain really adds to the ambience doesn't it here i can't really do anything about that uh, it's definitely a wet season all day today uh, as far as i can tell lots of alligators to catch Oh, that's nice. The water lilies and then the water flipping down onto there. Flipping, dropping down. The reflections are nice. Honestly, this is beautiful. This is so much better than a windmill. Arguably, right? You know? Um, so one of the things I want to know is, can I sit on these benches? Let's see. I can, and they're outward seating. So you've got enough room for, like, potentially three people per seat. That's awesome. Remember, you can have up to 16 people on your island, so I'm looking forward to more landmarks like this, honestly, so we can set up, like, parties and things and things that we can do, and hopefully they add a lot more, um, you know, stuff like this and things to do with friends on island. I think that would be something that would be high on my list. I do like the fact that the mosaic pattern is so reflective. That's it's so beautiful it almost gives it a, a really nice glow we got lily pads on like giant lily pads in vases that you sit around some nice bushes uh, you can of course jump all around this and you know chill out in the water if it was a nice hot summer's day and of course we've got the otter otter at the top which which uh, appears to be holding a lily pad i mean this is such a nice thing it is quite expensive and hard to get right but an extra landmark oh look we can stand on his head is like amazing really the more landmarks they add the better now this was an incredibly difficult craft if you think about it if you've actually done the crafting component of it but it, was it worth it i think so i think it was let's see if we can get nice g pose um like shot of this my character not summoning a mount every five seconds yeah, I think that's lovely. I think that is absolutely beautiful. What do you think? Obviously, this is going to be very subjective to, uh, you know, yourself, so your own tastes. Uh, a lot of people will like the big windmills. It's interesting that it's an instant rebuild, though. I didn't think that. That's a really nice touch, because obviously you, you wait for so long for things to be built. I think this is beautiful. 
So yeah, shout outs to uh, obviously my friend Parabella, who helped me actually with the crafting part of this. I certainly do not have the uh, crafting patience to put up with um, the amount of trial and error needed for that. But um, yeah, so if you can get these on your server, the components, you need two of each, like we said. And then uh, once you complete everything, get your glamour, you'll have access to that permit. And then you just come over here, you wait a day of your granary missions to get your Elysium. And boom, you're done. I think it's gorgeous, actually. And this is probably one of the better places I could have placed it. I was thinking about putting it on the big island instead where the lighthouse currently is. But honestly, I think this space is probably best used for this. It's somewhere that uh, it's not too far away from town. I'm, you know, I might come up here. Whereas the lighthouse area, that's somewhere I'm probably not going to really walk up. There's not really much for me to do up there, whereas this has... You know, shortcuts, and it's it's a nice place to hang out near the main hub. But yeah, I think I made the right decision. But even if I didn't, the fact that I can swap things around so easily, you know, obviously at the cost of the materials again and doing more Alyssum runs, honestly, not that bad. Not that bad. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this. I know it's raining right now. What I will try to do is include some shots when it's not raining. It might take me a few hours of waiting. But, um... Yeah, it is it is a very, very pretty item. And I really can't wait to see what other secrets, secrets and landmarks they uh, they want to put into the game. Because they could put them in anywhere, right? They could put PvP-related ones in, right? How cool would it be if you had, like, a dueling arena on your island? So you could duel your friends or something. I think the thing that I would want most, though, probably at the minute, is a way of playing Triple Triad on your island... Um, and doing like tournaments and stuff on there and maybe some other buildings related to like halls and things with lots of like a banquet hall would be lovely there's so many ideas for what they could come up with and i'm sure they'll come up with stuff that's way better than i could ever imagine but anyway, let me know what you think about this. Like I say, this is a job well done. There'll be lots of videos from Final Fantasy XIV Patch 6.2, lots of Island Sanctuary stuff upcoming. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.